Awesome Sauce Network's coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by WD. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Awesome Sauce Network. We are continuing our coverage here of CES 2015. We've made our way to the Venetian Suites where there are a lot of off-site vendors here demonstrating some amazing products that we're going to check out today and I don't even care anymore. I really don't even care. All right, guys, we're at the AMD booth right now. I'm talking to Omar. Now, we've got a pretty sweet laptop here. I know it's Alienware, and a lot of my fans out there are like, oh, Alienware, they're run by Dell and, and Boo, you know, right? And like, yeah, okay, sometimes they can be expensive and whatnot, but this is just kind of uh, unique in its own right, regardless of the manufacturer that we're talking about. Can you explain a little bit what's going on here? Sure, this is the Alienware 15 laptop. It's actually powered by our Radeon Mobility Class Discrete Graphics. And what's unique about this laptop is that you can buy this uh, external graphics amplifier which you can put a discrete uh, desktop class graphics in it. So this one actually has an R9-290X graphics card and it's powering the uh, 4K external panel. And it's using a wired connection, a proprietary wired connection made by Alienware. And what this allows you is if you're a person who likes LAN parties, this is a perfect choice. You don't really have to have a desktop to lug around. You can just take a laptop and you can just take this little graphics amplifier with you anywhere. What, what, why do you think Dell even bothers making anything else? There's, you know, different markets for different... You don't have to answer that. No. Thanks for talking to us and uh, enjoy the rest of your time here at CES. Thank you. All right, so we just made our way to the Microsoft booth, but apparently it's not really a booth. It's just a bunch of private meeting rooms where uh, executives and stuff are meeting. So I'm not going to be able to get the latest scoop on Windows 10, but apparently Windows 9 was so bad, they had to skip over completely. Uh, so at this point, I think we're just going to head over back to the show floor and check out the booths there. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm here at the creative booth now. We're in the South Hall and uh, came across this little guy. It's got a bunch of CES Innovation Awards around it. Um, it's actually a DAC. It's a digital to analog converter for your headphones or speakers. Um, it's called the Sound Blaster X7, and it actually has some pretty impressive numbers here. A 127 decibel DAC, has a 100 watt amp, and it can power or drive headphones up to 600 ohms of impedance. So if you guys have really high quality headphones, and you're you know, rocking something that's far beyond 50 ohms, this can drive those no problem. So definitely worth checking out if you're into really high quality audio. All right, so I'm at the Samsung booth now, guys, uh, checking out their new Galaxy Note Edge. And you can see that there's no dock right here, like there usually is, uh, because it's all been moved to the side. And actually, the screen, the right side of the screen, uh, more or less, is curved. But only the right side of the screen, so this might be a little awkward for left-handed users, or if you just like to hold your phone in the left hand over your right, uh, because it's only uh, curved on that one side. Um, but it's pretty cool. These are all your uh, frequently used applications, and you can swipe to the left or right. Uh, it also does things like music. You can play music. Yeah. Pretty cool feature is, uh, let's say you have an app open, you can swipe to the left, and it brings up your all of your uh, it brings up the edge screen, if you will. Uh, this is really nice because if you guys are Android users, you know that you have to click the button usually to get back to your docs if you want to open up one of those. But this just makes it really uh, intuitive. So uh, pretty cool stuff. All right, so I have uh, stumbled across suitable technologies, and this is pretty crazy. I'm actually talking to a real person right now. This is Reem. She's one of the product specialists. Reem, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Just rolling around, hanging out on Beam, living the dream. <laughs> that, that sounds awesome. Now, when I walked by, I thought all of you guys were recordings, but you're actually, you're, where, where are you right now? I'm right here in front of you in Vegas. Come on, Kyle. I know. It really feels that way. It's it's really, I guess that's the point, right? But no, I'm actually in the flesh. I'm in Palo Alto, California, but I'm also hanging out in Vegas. So what kind of application does this product have in, you know, for, for real world consumers? Yeah, great question. So originally when we first had this product, it was made for remote workers. It was a way for them to feel um, more a part of their, um, should I say, their headquarters that they weren't at. Um, with that said, it, it's actually grown into manufacturing, education, government, health. I mean, even real estate. I, I reckon sometime in the future we're going to start seeing these maybe even on, on the street or in public, you know, at the grocery store or something. You know, we're actually already on the street. We have our first um, store that we opened on University Avenue in Palo Alto, which is our downtown area. 
With that said, it's the world's first remotely operated store, so there's no physical employees on site. Yep, pretty wild, right? We even close the door at night remotely. So we're, we're on the streets, we're definitely there. This is definitely bound to freak some people out at some point. So like, what's the best reaction you've seen from somebody who you've run into here at CES? Someone's actually hit against somebody else because they were scared of it. And eventually I talked them down from the tree and then they just, you know, came over, started talking to me and then they were okay. So was this was this like a, like a five-year-old girl or something? Like a small toddler? It was a grown woman. A grown woman is a grown woman. Props to you guys for helping people out, making such innovative uh, movements in the in the tech industry, and scaring the living daylights out of some people. Have a good rest of the time here in Las Vegas. Thank you. See you later. Woo.